Okay, there's the uh, compression tester has been hooked up. Now, this should get around 100 PSI's. Anything below 100, you're going to have problems running. So we're going to hold that down. Got that tied off there. Been on the charger. There you go. Well, that would appear to me to be pretty low on compression. As I suspected, this engine is probably burned up. However, there's one thing left I'm going to try. And that's going to be to do the valves. One of these valves might need to be adjusted, which is what's causing bad compression. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and say this probably does not have a very good engine in it. I was, I was concerned about that when they said they changed the oil. And unfortunately, if you just change the oil, why would it still be? that color <laughs> somebody rode this thing for a very long time with the same oil in it and i'm pretty sure they burned up the rings so that's unfortunate that is new oil i can tell but it's off colored horribly so clearly somebody left old oil in this thing for way too long and will leave the pressure in that cylinder <laughs> it's not even close to where it should be at all in the slightest this thing is very low on compression so the only thing that could really be left if it's not the rings i don't even need to do a leak down test at this point i put a new carb on there that didn't solve it barely wants to run uh, i mean barely will run um i'm probably going to pull this valve cover and have a look at the uh, i'm going to put this engine at tdc and we're going to see if it's just a valve issue could just be a valve problem honestly and uh but but we're not going to know so um yeah good stuff fun stuff man customers always like to hear that their engine's not healthy or what they bought isn't in good shape <laughs>